glad that uh, my quickness can help me a lot in this league. And um, just got to be able to uh, have a little bit of strength with it. And uh, that's going to be able to take me a little bit further. What are your plans for this summer? Um, any advice or encouragement to work on specific aspects of your game, um, whether in summer league or, or on your own? Um, I'm still going. I'm still going to be here. Um, work out with the coaching staff. Um, just trying to get the uh, the best help possible for the most improvement. Um, just being around them is definitely going to help me a lot more than just being on my own. So I, I'm definitely going to stay in Oklahoma City. Dang, just said you're still trying to figure out your position, which could be a good thing and a bad thing. How could that be a good thing? How could it be a bad thing? Um, <clears throat> it could be a good thing. Um, because um, you know I can, I can play multiple positions. Um, if he needs me, you know, play the two at one point. Hopefully, I can help him play the two. But uh, it could be a bad thing if um, you know he feels like I'm not ready to play the two yet, or I'm not ready to play the four yet. You know, uh, because of my strength or something. But um, yeah, that's about it. Were there certain spots you felt most comfortable when you did get an opportunity this year? <laughs> um, every spot. To be honest, um, I feel like I was able to, you know, keep up with anybody I guarded. So um, I was comfortable everywhere on the floor. You keep saying strength. Is that one of the things you really will focus on the offseason? What, what will you work on? Yeah, I want to work on my strength. Um, just, just get a little bit stronger. <laughs> That's all I can ask for. And uh, hopefully, um, I still have my quickness, and um, I'll be able to help contribute some kind of way. What was the um, time that you spent in the D League like for you? Was that good for you just to get extended minutes like that? Yeah, I, I think it was. It was great. Um, I mean, it had me prepared for a lot of games when uh, coaches, you know, put me in. I was I was ready to play. Um, you know, because in D League, it's a lot of older guys, so uh, it's just like playing in the NBA. It's a lot of good guys in the D League. It's just not enough space in the NBA. You look back at. From the time you were drafted, the experience that you've had with this organization from that point until now, what stands out? Um, the work ethic. Everybody on the team. Um, everybody comes in, works every day before practice, works after practice. Um, I mean, that, that's a lot of work, but at the same time, I mean, guys want good results. So guys are going to work, work as hard as they can every day just to be ready for when Coach calling a number. Your first NBA experience, what has the fan support been here like uh, for you and just seeing that and experiencing your first playoff atmosphere too? Uh, um, the fans here, I love them. Um, <laughs> couldn't ask for better fans out here. You know, uh, coming home from a, um, from a long game, long road trip, see fans outside, you know, waving and supporting and cheering. And then... Um, the playoffs, um, running out for the first time, you know, in the playoffs, you know, it was, I was just amazed. You know, it was already sold out. Um, it was just a great feeling, you know. Um, it was a, it was a, <laughs> I can't explain how I felt at the time, but, you know, I, I felt great. When you first got here, it was just you, the long, the long rookie. Then they made the trade, they brought in Jeremy. What was it like to be able to go through this experience with him and just kind of lean on each other for support? Um, all right, it makes it a lot easier um, knowing that somebody's there going through the struggle with you um, and somebody supporting you. You know, uh, sometimes we'll play the whole team one-on-one uh, -on -one after practice. You know, if it was just me, I think it'd be a lot harder. But, uh, you know, I had somebody with me supporting me, so it's, it made it much easier. How eager are you guys just to get out there and show what you can do? Um, you know, um, every rookie wants to play as soon as he gets in, so... Uh, I mean, we still feel the same way. You know, we, we want to play, we want to contribute. Um, it's every basketball player's dream to get on the court and, you know, help the team to a championship. Terry, how do you think this organization will just help in continuing your development? I know that they've pushed you really hard in practice. Like you said, you're going up against the whole team. I mean, what have you seen already in your first year here? Um, I, th I, think I've, I think I've developed a lot. Um, it's a lot I didn't know um, that, they, that I've learned over the past, you know, couple months. And... Um, I know they're going to push me even harder um, over the summer, you know, because I'm going to have a lot of time on my hands. We don't have games. So uh, I just got to be ready um, to get better. Can you 
expect out of Lamb next year? Out of Lamb? I expect a lot out of the Lamb. Uh, I feel like Lamb is a pure shooter. <laughs> you know, uh, you know, I expect a lot out of him. Um, um, I hope he's going to be here this summer. You know, I hope he's going to be working out with me, things like that. But, um, I mean, uh, I expect a lot from both of us.